You see this plate? It screams fancy. I have definitely come to the right spot. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Steve from Rockstar Eater coming to you with another rockin' episode. And I am out here in Orange County in Buena Park because I'm gonna be checking out one of the hottest new Japanese restaurants in town. Behind me is X Fish Izakaya. Now when I say hot, I really do mean it because it recently opened. This is one of the most upscale all-you-can-eat sushi menus that you can find in OC. They also have izakaya, they have omakase, they got ramen, they got it all. So this is the video I encourage you stick all the way to the end of, especially if you love all-you-can-eat sushi, because I'm gonna show you one of the most premium new spots that you can try in Buena Park at X Fish. And also if you're new to this channel, take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell because I post these food and travel videos weekly you don't want to miss out on. So go ahead, do that right now. And in the meantime, I'm going to be walking into X Fish. It's about 2 p.m. and there's already still so many people. That's a good sign. It's clean, it's minimalist, even kind of upscale. And like I said, they specialize in all-you-can-eat sushi, but they have other all-you-can-eat options on the menu as well. So this is gonna be one of your more elevated AYC dining experiences, especially in Orange County. Of course, there's indoor seating, and then you can sit at the sushi bar, which is actually quite open. There's a lot of space here. And as you can see, this is not your typical sushi bar design. It's made out of, uh, I believe this is wood, so you cannot see the fish behind the glass, but this is the design of what you find in a lot of more like upscale sushi restaurants, I would say. The menu is only one side, which makes it pretty simple, but there are different price points based on what day and what time you come. So uh, if you come during Monday through Fridays, except holiday, it goes for $27.99 for lunch, and this is everything that you can get inside. So it's not just the stuff from the sushi bar, but it looks like you can also get ramen and udon, salad. Some of you guys might have questions about the pass around menu and I'm still learning it myself, but it's supposed to be kind of based on the Brazilian barbecue model where they bring these various meats or foods to your table and you pretty much pick off of it, just like at an all you can eat Brazilian steakhouse. Now that is an interesting concept. But this is the one I'm gonna get today. $55 omakase, oh yeah. So you can get 14 pieces of chef's choice, all that premium sushi, you see that? And then afterwards, if you're still hungry, you can do all you can eat, everything else, just like you would find in the signature menu. So apparently this is how the menu works. You scan it with your phone, and it's gonna take you directly to the website where the menu is supposed to pop up. Okay, yeah, there we go, so you push that. So if you guys want to place your order, you hit on the fish you want. All comes in one pieces, so if you want to get two, you push two, add to order, and then once you place all your orders in, then you would click uh, send, yeah, back up there, and then it's supposed to place the order for round one. Oh, I guess this is the first thing that came around for the pass around menu. This is the yakitori. Yeah, so I guess I'll just take it. Every 30 minutes, they would pass around a new kind of a skewer or appetizer. See, that's a very interesting concept. Never seen that before in an Asian restaurant. Tender chicken. And that sauce over it is some sort of a yakitori or teriyaki sauce. All right, they got pretty good yakitori here. I came mainly for the sushi, but hey, this is an izakaya restaurant, which means they're gonna have a little bit of everything. So if you really wanna concentrate on this, then really it's all about you. So how much ramen can you eat at an all-you-can-eat restaurant? Yeah, so this is their all-you-can-eat ramen. Tonkotsu ramen, which has the pork broth, the noodles, corn, other veggies like uh, mushrooms, uh, woodier mushrooms. Even though this is all you can eat, I think I'm gonna kind of take a little bit easy on the ramen because I really want to concentrate on the sushi. But I'm curious to see what the ramen here tastes like. Wow, that is so comforting. Ooh, yeah, that does taste like a tonkotsu broth. Pork broth that's a little bit thick, very savory. And of course, you got some delicious noodles in there. Wow. 
Wow, this is pretty tasty. And I think that might be the pork chashu right there. Oh, it's pretty thin. Just like I said, thin piece of pork chashu. Since this is an izakaya restaurant, I know that the ramen is not gonna taste exactly like out of an award-winning ramen shop. But if you gotta get your ramen fix, they got it here. It does taste pretty good. So yeah, try at least one, you know what I'm saying? Along with all your other sushis. So it looks like my first round of nigiri sushi came out and it does take a little while for this to come out. So be sure to order everything you can in the first round. The left is tuna and that one is the yellowtail, the center one albacore, and then we have bluefin tuna, which are just really good. And the Japanese scallops and they're seared, always very good. Definitely high points for presentation. I mean, look at this plate, so fancy. See, what did I tell you? This is like an upscale, all you can eat menu experience. That's so cool. I'm more of a Toro type of person, but even regular tuna, I don't complain. I'll eat it. You know, it's what I first ate when I was a kid, so it brings back a lot of good memories. I can tell, it's very fresh, it has a lot of flavor. Okay, so far I'm liking the sushi. That bluefin tuna has such a clean taste. I mean, there's like subtle differences between the bluefin and the regular tuna taste, but of course you should always get the bluefin because that's a better cut of tuna. I think so. But if I see scallops on the menu, that's another thing I'm getting for sure. Oh, that's bursting with a lot of flavor, wow. I think there's already some sort of a dressing that's over it, so you don't really need to put so much soy sauce on it. All right, so good. So here is my main attraction, the 14 piece omakase. So for $55, this is what you start off with and then everything else is filler, all you can eat, oh yeah. So let me see if I can guess everything because since this is chef's choice, it could change a little bit from the menu the one all the way to the left is American Wagyu beef, and that's uh, soft shell crab all the way at the top, along with, uh, let's see, salmon ceviche, and then bluefin tuna, and then coming down here, we got squid, Hokkaido scallop with uni on top, pretty fancy, seared tuna, halibut, kampachi, salmon belly, uh, sweet shrimp with uni on top, Oh, I'm loving that uni. And then the inari with the salmon eggs on top. I think that one is sea bass. I could be wrong, some sort of white fish. That one for sure is toro. This is from the tempura bar. You guessed that right. That is shrimp tempura. Three pieces along with tempura sauce. This chef's choice 14 piece is not all you can eat. So what you're really buying is the omakase first at $55. And then the all-you-can-eat menu is attached to it. So I would suggest go with this one first to get your money's worth. And then afterwards, you can do the all-you-can-eat sushi and even all-you-can-eat noodles if that's you know really what you want to eat. So incredibly tender. So I would say that the way that they cut these pieces is kind of like a typical all-you-can-eat sushi size. So it's not like those really thick cuts but the good thing is the rice portion, they don't put way too much in the bottom. So this is actually very reminiscent of the size of the sushi you would find in Japan, at least in a lot of those fine sushi restaurants. Mm. Oh, okay, tender sweet, very good. How about some of that soft shell crab to give it that crunch? Man, so crispy and so oily. I love it. Soft shell crab is like one of the best foods ever. Fried soft shell crab, that is. Mm-hmm. That one's perfect. Oh yeah, Hokkaido scallop with uni. I can already tell this one is gonna be super good. Mm. That is like sushi perfection. Totally, that in itself is worth this omagase experience. Whoa, that halibut is kind of crunchy. I think it's good that 
all of this fish has its own texture, so you don't want everything to kind of be like melt in your mouth, right? Can't go wrong with salmon belly. I like regular salmon. I never have complaints about regular salmon, but salmon belly is like another level. The Toro of salmon. Now, I'm not sure if I'm really into the sweetness of that tofu skin because everything so far has been more like savory, fatty. But if it comes with it, I'm not going to complain. I'll still eat it. See, look what's coming up next. Toro. One of the best things on this plate. Most of the time, it's going to be a winner. That thing is fatty and it really is so rich tasting. Like butter out of the sea. All right, maybe I'll take a little break from the sushi and try some of the shrimp tempura. Kind of standard shrimp tempura. I mean, nothing groundbreaking or anything. It's just if you want to add some crispiness to your meal, then this would be a pretty good balance. You see, you're going to be putting your phone to use. If you're not technologically savvy, you might find this a little challenging. It's all right. It's, it's really not that hard, actually. And now I am on to round three. Yep, got to get my money's worth. So that is the salmon eggs, ikora along with some freshwater eel. Yes, always got to get that. And that one is octopus. All the way to the right, that's the butter pepper shrimp. Down there, we got some yellowtail, very simple, and some regular salmon, but still so good. So these here are the non-omakase sushi pieces that you get as part of the all-you-can-eat sushi bar experience. All right, well, let's see what this tastes like in contrast to the omakase quality. The salmon eggs, they just really pop in your mouth. Not too salty too, a little bit sweet. Like I said, the pieces are not the biggest that I've seen in an all-you-can-eat menu. But then again, the rice portion isn't too big either. And that's a good thing because you don't want them to put way too much rice in the bottom, but a very thin piece of fish on top. I always have to have it every single time, whether I'm at an a la carte sushi restaurant, or all you can eat, always gonna get the unagi. But then of course I'll try new stuff like this too. Oh, that's interesting. It's like buttery and peppery. It almost tastes like something out of a Cajun seafood boil restaurant. All right, you know, every sushi restaurant has their own little invention, right? And I have a feeling the yellowtail is gonna be pretty solid too. Oh, wow. That thing is like one of the best things I've had today. Oh, wow. It's so tender and melt in your mouth. I love it. All right. High expectations for this piece of salmon too. Mm. Most of the sushi restaurants I've been to had pretty decent salmon. I don't think I've really ever been to a sushi restaurant where I thought the salmon is like so bad. Even at the buffets, a lot of times the salmon does taste pretty good. Here, no different. Well, I cannot leave here without trying at least one sushi roll, right? Why not go with their X fish? Yes, so outside we have spicy albacore, eel, seared salmon, crunchy flakes, masago, green onion. Inside, kind of hard to see, but crab meat and shrimp tempura. Good combination. And this is from the izakaya section. You'll find this all the time in all you can eat sushi restaurants. You guessed it right, baked green mussels. Here we go. These rolls look pretty much like what you would find in a lot of all-you-can-eat sushi restaurants. Everything on top, the salmon to the eel, it's like my favorites. Me personally, I try to stick more for like the nigiri and the sushi, just because, you know, you really want to concentrate on the fish. But hey, everybody has their preferences, so if you guys like rolls, they got plenty of creative rolls here. Just like you would find in a lot of all-you-can-eat sushi menus. That's right. It's like creamy and spicy at the same time. I wonder if they put any sriracha in that. Yeah, I don't think I've had a baked mussel that kind of had like that kick of spiciness to it. But I like it. Look at the size of it. It's very fresh too, very moist. 
Now, when you place the orders, you do have to be a little patient because it takes a while for the food to come to your table. Maybe it's because it's so busy here, and that's the only real downside of this experience. But other than that, good restaurant, very spacious, good parking outside. The food, pretty top notch. I haven't been to too many of these all you can eat sushi restaurants in Orange County, but I wouldn't be surprised if this is one of the top ones. And plus, they got a lot of other things on the menu too. So, yes, come on down here to Buena Park to check out one of the hottest new Japanese restaurants in town that has omakase, all you can eat sushi, all you can eat ramen, everything else. I think you're gonna like it. Anyway, it's gonna finish up here with one of my other foods, but thank you so much for watching this episode. I'll see you all in the next food adventure.